Hi, welcome to Stout Guys. I'm your host, Kyle. And I'm your co-host, Eric. Today, we're under the Northern Lights. All right, so we're once again going across the pond to Iceland. We've never been there. Never. But this came back from it. Uh, so Einstock beer uh, from, uh, <laughs> I'm going to butcher this name, Akurere, Iceland. A- Akurere. Akurere, Iceland. So that's where they're out of. Um, when I looked them up online, there wasn't really any dates or anything, but they're Iceland's number one craft beer. So this is their a- Arctic Berry Ale, which is made with bilberries, which is the European version of blueberries, also known as whortleberries sometimes. So it's, that's a good thing because I was going to make fun of you for just, you continue to read it as blueberry up until we started filming. Yep. And then you saved yourself. But as it turns out, bilberries are blueberries. Yep. Just a uh, subspecies, a European subspecies of the American blueberry. So very, very, very similar. Okay. So uh comes in at 5%, which is pretty good for just your standard beer. Uh, and in Iceland... Sumargurin Frista, the first day of summer, designates the arrival of warmer temperatures and abundant sunshine at Einstock. We're celebrating summer with his limited edition Arctic Berry Ale, a refreshing wit beer flavor with tasty bilberries handpicked near the Arctic Circle. So that's another thing, speaking of the Arctic Circle, they're like 20 miles south of the Arctic Circle in a fishing town of Akureyri. <laughs> that was good. That was okay, that was good. Yeah, no, no, you're good. <laughs> well, you tell me I'm good at not letting me know if I'm even pronouncing I, it right at first. I watched one YouTube video <laughs> of two Icelandic people oh. speaking Icelandic towns. So I, I think I'm. I think we're okay. I think it's good. All right, it's the perfect deal for summer adventures. But enjoy it while you can. It will disappear with the midnight sun. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. I'm very excited for this one. By the way, we did have many beer options this week. We oh, just happened yeah. to choose this one. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder what color it's gonna be. Oh, that's a good one too. But I like that crack. That crack was very strong. It was good. It's like a Viking crack. Well, it's on the low. Ooh, Ooh there's like a pink hue oh. to it. It's a pearly. Oh, yeah, one. that's like not rose rose, but it definitely looked like it poured with a nice pink hue, a goldenish pink, like a rose gold. Yeah, there's a, there's a tiny bit of a pink hue in there. It's golden. Yeah, it's very light. I hope it tastes light, you know? Oh, I hope so, too. I, I kind of just want, like, a nice, good beer. Yeah, it's got a good head on it. It's got a lot of carbonation. Oh, yeah, that actually looks really good. Ooh, definitely has, like, a blueberry-ish or bilberry smell. I don't know what it, bilberry I, smell I, like, but... It, <laughs> if we knew what a bilberry smelled like, it would smell like that. But it us like Americans <laughs> only can say that, you know, it smells like a blueberry almost. Let's cheers it. It smells like a blueberry smell. jumping in. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is very nice and light. It doesn't feel heavily carbonated, even though it looks it. Yeah, it looks really carbonated, and it definitely falls flat when you drink it. Mm-hmm. Not that it, not, that's not a bad thing at all. No. It doesn't taste like beer to me. It... And if it does, it's very, very, very light. It's very, it's ever so lightly bready tasting as beer would be. Mm-hmm. And it's got a really faint blueberry, bilberry flavor. And I'm I'm happy with it. No, yeah, I, I've had other wit beers before. So it's definitely on that side of the beer spectrum. Just, there's no bitterness to it at all. No. It's this, very full, though, in the mouth. You think so? I think, like, I'm getting, like, it tastes like it should be heavily carbonated. Like, it feels that way in the mouth, but... Almost like a seltzer, but don't don't murder me. But without that, you know, that popping of bubbles. No, you know what? I will agree with you there. It 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 feels a bit more like a seltzer than it does a wit beer. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with that. I like seltzer too. So yeah, this beer is incredibly drinkable. I I. I Almost could... dangerously drinkable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this came in what a six pack. Yeah, yeah. That that's. And for being an import, it was actually reasonably priced. I think I paid like 10 bucks for the six-pack. Quality, value, it, it is all here. Yeah. 
And you know, and there's just the subtle hint of the blueberry. It is. It's it's very very subtle, but it's you know it's the there. It's there. You don't have to dig for it. And it's, it's not like a sweet fruit blueberry or any bilberry or anything like that. It's it's definitely on like that. Grab them from the the carton and you're eating them. Yeah, this beer would satisfy the masses. I I would I would find it very difficult to find anybody who wouldn't enjoy this mm. because it, it's it's so light in flavor and i say that in the best way possible because it's enjoyable but there also isn't a whole whole lot there that's going to turn you off from it and and something i've noticed we we keep saying light but we're not saying crisp like i wouldn't have that you know that hard crisp like a crisp cider would be there's no harshness to it at all no i when i say light it just it truly drinks like a light a light beer to Mm -hmm. me just with better flavor. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to let it sit and give you our second take in a minute. All right, so we let it sit around for a couple minutes, let our taste buds reacclimate to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Discussed it. Uh, we actually have a new guy here, sound guy. New sound guy? New sound new guy. New, we got tech guy, we got sound guy now, <laughs> who's a volunteer in his time, so you can get workers for free. You just got to promise them beer. <laughs> He was saying, like, this is something you'd bring to a party. This is something you share around. Uh, maybe someone doesn't like a wheat beer or even a white beer or something like that. This is this is great to introduce them to. Yeah, like we were saying, it's it's very, very drinkable, honestly. Mm-hmm. The, the term we're going to use is crushable. It's a crushable beer. Very crushable. And it's light. And you know, as, as it's warm up, I'm getting a little bit more uh, bilberry. Really? Yeah, take a nice big gulp. Do the uh, the tongue trick. I'm not getting more. But I am still getting it consistently, mm-hmm. which is, which is what I want. It's yeah. for me. It's it's consistent all the way through, you know, from initial sip to the end of the can. It's gonna drink the same, which is amazing. It's mm-hmm. good. No, yeah. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. It's a nice, light, refreshing, crushable beer. It's honestly so good that we, you know, I'll be totally honest. We cracked one can. We poured it into our little tasters. I almost killed it. On the initial sip, and I stopped myself, <laughs> thankfully. We did fill it again a second time before we came back to it, and I almost killed it again. So, with oh. that being said, I would never pour that into a taster. You open that can, and you crush that bad boy by yourself mm-hmm. in one go. And then and then probably the other five. Yeah, you probably don't, 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 probably don't even need a koozie for it, because it's not going to last that long. No. <laughs> no, that's a great beer. I would This beer, for me, 10 out of 10. One of my favorites on the oh, show. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that is like one of the, for not being like a nitro or a smooth beer or anything, that's very, very, very smooth going down. Absolutely. Well done. <laughs> beer number two of this episode. Keeping with the theme, I'm wearing a Northern Sky inspired shirt. Oh, kind of looks nice. a little starry, right? A little bit, yeah. So what we did is we brought to you Allagash North Sky. Um, something cool about Allagash, um, as we all know. They make amazing beers. You guys might know that. We know that. Oh, yeah. So the fun fact for them is they started in Portland, Maine in 1995. It was with one brewery, one employee. So it started out really small. They now do a bunch of different, I believe they're Belgian-styled ales for the most part, but they are inspired by world flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's where they're at. This is a stout. It's at 7.5%. Very respectable for us. Yeah. We've been drinking some low-end stouts. <laughs> not in a bad... Not, yeah, not, yeah, not like end flavor low-end. Low just low end. just you know, low, low, APV low-end. Low yeah. So let's read their story here. So Allagash North Sky. Like a clear night lit by stars, this silky Belgian-inspired stout balances light notes of fruit and sweetness with roasty malt. Inspired by late evenings spent around a cracking campfire... North Sky is brewed to merge lightness and darkness into a super sippable stout. I have to say, that is a nice sound, too. That crackling fire yeah. when it's just quiet at night. It's just, I don't know. You can't ever recreate Something that. Something about it. It's just... But can they recreate it within a can? Let's we'll see. the crack. That went, you know. <laughs> that was that quick. Was, that was quick. That was just like a bam, I'm open. Shot right in. <laughs> <laughs> As with most stouts, not a whole lot going on in terms of craft. It's coming out dark brown, not black. Yeah, a little bit of see-through there. It looks yeah. more like a porter or a dark ale. I Yeah, definitely more like a porter. It's got a little light carbonation. Mm-hmm. Decent head on it. More on the lighter tan side for stout head. It smells like a stout. 
I can't get anything there's, out of that. There's something else there, and I can't really put my finger on it. You can smell the malt. It's got a roasty malt. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's all Maybe it's just smelling. a weak style that I'm smelling. Let's, let's try all it. All right. Oh, wow. That has a, a, a wheat beer stout flavor. So something that I was picking up on from the can is they're saying that it was, what did they say? It was like crisp and silky. Smooth, yeah. I don't get that. S- silky? I don't know. Silky? If it, if it was silky, I would expect it to drink like a, like a, like like a, a smooth, nitro. buttery nitro stout, you know? Yeah, nice and thick and thick. silky. This this drinks like... It, t- okay. it drinks like a freaking wheat beer, like a wit beer, like an Allagash wit beer. Yeah. What they're normally doing. Maybe a bit like a porter as well. I don't know. I'm just not getting a lot of stout out of it. There's just a, just a bitter wheat beer that's really dark and heavy. Not a huge fan. I'm, not the worst thing I've ever had, but not a huge fan. Yeah, you know what? I'm 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 there with you. I think I think the only flavor that I'm pulling out of here outside of a traditional stout profile between the roasted malt and maybe a little tiny tiny bit of like hazelnut but very minimal nutty profile is a light smoke i can taste a little bit of a smokiness to it but other than that it's just a stout and it's it's not one of the better ones i've had now see i'm just getting like someone took an allagash one of their white beers or white beers or anything like that and just took a stout and just yeah you know what let's let it sit yeah definitely gonna have to let that sit do we dare come back to it I don't know. I guess we have to, but something we definitely <laughs> discussed is I can understand we are getting a little bit of smokiness out of, and there's nothing greater or better than that nice smoky campfire smell when you're camping. Agreed. I mean, it can get you laid. That is true. But the next morning when you wake up with that tent smell and then you're freaking muggy because it was all nice and humid all night and you're just <laughs> thinking, and then you're like, whew, that campfire smell, that's what that kind of that's that kind of <laughs> campfire smell taste right there it's not a nice campfire still still campfire stale campfire that's what i'm getting out of it <laughs> which sucks because i love allagash <sighs> it it has more flavor at a higher temperature bad flavors bad flavor <laughs> just because you have more of the bad flavor well that's the thing, right? Take that how you will. You have more flavor of what it was before. And if you enjoyed it before, you'll like it even more now. I just did the, the dung trick and that just made it worse. Made it worse? Yeah. You're pulling out all the all that good roasted malt. All that all that sweet, sweet fruit that just, they advertise that doesn't exist. There's no sweetness at all. It just has like a burnt. Like they roasted the malts a little too much. Maybe they took like and the wheat is a little too burnt. Did we get just... a, maybe we got maybe we got a shit batch. I don't know. Did did we get the batch of like like the roasted strawberry stems? And they're scraping the out the, they're scraping out the bottom of the barrel to make a few extra bucks. Like chiseling out the sludge that's the burnt bits and yeah. I don't know. I think we've rolled on this beer enough. It's all right. Let's let's bring it back home. If I had to if I had to drink a stout, it wouldn't be this one. That being said, it's not the worst beer by far. No, we've had worse. We just, we hold Allagash in very, very high regard. This beer doesn't quite match up to their other product. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, and... It, it, it has a traditional stout flavor, but it's not silky. It's not sweet. It's it's very lightly carbonated, drinks a lot more like a wit beer than mm-hmm. it does a stout. Uh, it's not... <laughs> The color, the color is a bit off too. It's it's a dark brown. I'm usually looking for for a much darker color, a black. Um, and yeah, it's 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 just not my favorite. No, and uh, I'm not going to add on to that. I think you ended it perfectly. Um, just remember, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. We're going to be posting hopefully, and uh, put some social shorts on Facebook. If you don't see our on our Facebook or Twitter, we do post videos just to Facebook and Twitter. We call them social shorts. There are either edits or takeouts of what we do on the show here, and uh, sometimes they're a little story. Really interesting. 
They're like a minute, two minutes long. Nothing, nothing horribly long. So just go check those out. Follow us to see those. Uh, once we get enough of them, we'll put a compilation in. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> so you can just be patient and wait. Although Who wants I, to do that? I, I know, nobody. And I know it's really hard to get B footage and shorts because we're always just so good in one take, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Other than that, if you love this beer, let us know down in the comments. Let us know what we got wrong on it. Uh, go ahead and defend it. Because we always say, you like what you like. And drink it, no matter what anyone ever has to say about it. Exactly. Okay, that's the way to drink it. Throw <laughs> <laughs> whiskey in the jar, take away my sorrow. I'm done with the rest of today. Throw whiskey in the jar, I'll see you tomorrow. And just let it fade away. Just let it fade away. Yeah, just let it fade away. So uh, the way I even like heard about this one, like people were talking about, oh yeah, you got to try that Icelandic beer. You got to try that Icelandic beer. And I even went to the packy a couple times and people were asking for it. And they're like, oh, we already sold out. We're already sold out. So today I was just there this morning before we started filming. I found it. So I had to grab it. <laughs>